So here's the six column plan matrix stability drill. So we're gonna work in this month again on stability, but we'll add some reactive stuff. That single leg being able to land and control and decelerate and stick the landing into that position is crucial for injury prevention, for power and change of direction, speed, everything you need it. You just decelerate and stop stabilize everything core glute activation all of that is important when i play sport so basically six cones and i've placed my foot in between and i still have a little bit of wiggle room in between those could be hurdles as well first drill just like last month one leg jump and stabilize. Whoa, bye. Jump and stabilize. Abs are tight. When I'm bent, I have a nice quarter squat bent. My knee is beyond my toes slightly. My foot is fully on the ground and I'm gripping the floor, the ground with my toes and I'm arching. So my big toe, small toe, and the full heel at the back is stable. It's important to be able to absorb and stop on a dime within seconds, within split seconds. So you would go, jump, stabilize, jump, stabilize. When I absorb, I land ball to full foot to down and stabilize. Ball, full foot, down, stable. Before you jump again, make sure you're stable. So you would do left leg, stabilize, stabilize all the way, stabilize that last one, turn around, switch leg, do the right leg, stabilize the last jump. Now you rest for one minute and you repeat for a second set. So we're gonna reprogram that stability before we go reactive. The second drill, same thing, jumping. Now it's on and off the ground. Quickly, one leg, turn around, switch leg, come back. So, boom, 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 boom. Switch leg and come back. When you're done, boom, stabilize the last jump. A minute rest. If you want to make it harder, like imagine that the hurdle is this high, so you have to lift your knee up to clear the hurdle. So that will make it harder. The third drill will be going lateral, coming back with the other leg lateral, then a break. So I'm gonna go jump, stabilize, jump, stabilize, jump, stabilize, 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 stabilize. Switch leg. I'm going inward first. I stabilize all the way to the end, rest a minute. I'm gonna do two set, going in, resting a minute, then I'm gonna do two sets, going outward, whoop, stabilizing, and then coming back with this leg stabilizing. Two sets. Once I'm done the stabilizing part of it, I'm going reactive. So I'll do the same principle. Going inward, boom, 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 boom. Boom, switch leg. There and back. Rest a minute. Do it a second set. Rest a minute. Now I'm going outward. Out, 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 out. Come back, rest a minute, and do a second set. Go with your comfortable zone. I really want the drill, if you can, 
to be on the grass, on a turf, if you have no choice on the asphalt, but it's really a last resort. It's really hard on your knees. Go with your comfortable level. If you feel that jumping over the cone is too much, well, no cones. Just jump cone to cone. This way you work in your comfortable zone. Don't forget, the important thing is to be able to decelerate, stabilize, stick the landing, and then when we go reactive, on and off the ground. Have fun.